So Paul begins with an incredible three chapters of theology. I want to remind you of what I've already preached to you. I want you to remind you of the story. And the story is about how God pursues us. Uh, you didn't call the meeting. Uh, I tell you all the time, when somebody tells me they found Jesus, I remind them, no, you didn't. Jesus wasn't lost. Okay? The good news is not that you can get to God, but that God in Christ Jesus has come to you. And he's found all of you, he says. Some of you were Gentiles when he found you. Some of, were, were, of you were Jews. Some of you were rich. Some of you were poor. Some of you had this ethnic background. Some of you had that ethnic background. But the one thing we all have in common is that we were sinners who were found by Jesus. Now, the details of our conversions will, will uh, vary from person to person. Some of you had very dramatic conversa conversions. I didn't, okay? But it, the, the details of that don't, don't matter. What matters is that when you tell your story of conversion, you, you will hear and, and recognize the pattern of Jesus working in this person's life. Uh, you, you will notice there'll be some pattern of conviction from sin, some kind of understanding that I'm going the wrong way and this is not the way I want to go. Uh, some understanding that I can't, be, I can't fix it by myself. And then receiving Christ into your heart and beginning to follow him and his teachings. Now, a lot of you will want to say, my conversion is better than your conversion. We're getting all these stories. Listen, that's like arguing if you got first class tickets on the Titanic. Okay? It doesn't matter where you're seating, where you're sitting, it's all going down. Okay? So that you had the best experience ever on the Titanic, nobody really cares. It's going down. All of us, regardless, Greek and Jew, all of us were going down on the same ship. Christ has rescued us. Now, because he has rescued us, he is now proclaimed himself, or being proclaimed now, he's revealed himself as being Lord of all. He has filled up everything. And now that he has defeated death in the resurrection, defeated sin on the cross, now he returns to us as a conquering hero.